I'm finally releasing my course on the fundamentals of structural dynamics. You can find it at courses.sylviasbrainery.com. You go here, you find the structural dynamics course. You can either purchase through regular price or a student price. For the student price, you need to have proof of being a student. The curriculum is given here. You can look at the curriculum be before you register for the course. Pretty much I cover all the fundamentals of structural dynamics. If we go in and uh, we get started, I think it's a good opportunity to kind of have a peek at the course itself. Once you purchase your course, you will find it in your dashboard of courses. So if I like to select this course here, it takes you in and this is the framework. Hello, this is Silvia Mazzoni and welcome to my first lecture on elementary structural dynamics. The focus of the lecture is an introduction to structural dynamics. Here's my slightly ambitious outline for the course. It's damped, it's gonna shake to nothing. And that's a free vibration. What's in here? Look at how simple our mass matrix is, okay? But we gotta understand why we're doing this and how we are doing it. So the first thing I'm gonna go is go back to the review of the concept of solving the differential equations. What we have in this, if we do the third case now, right? So we did, Psi is equal to zero, we did it less than one, we did it equal to one. Okay, so today we're done with free vibration and uh, we're moving on to, uh, to a force vibration response. This is the free vibration response. No, do you remember in the end of the last lecture of the logarithm, if you plug in, you know, cosine of omega and t is the same. There it is, I mean, this is a nice function, but you know, you've got a free vibration oscillating about zero. And I'm gonna, I like reading my notes because I took the time in writing them. And the only thing that we can do, constant at every time step, make mistakes or more general for you, but it doesn't matter. You can always go from one answer to the other. This is important. Now what we've done is we have a piece of N. So this is a vector. So this is the distribution between the different degrees of freedom, you know, slash nodes. And then this, so now let's look back at that example that we've done before we had our math. So this becomes, we've talked about converting our M and our K into, you know, modal mass and hello and welcome back. Especially these sections that I've covered on what we want to start. What do we know about this function? I'm going to go from here to here. I'm going to assume a or more stability. Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to give you a nice review summary. Types of loading. Remember, we've got simple loading, such as harmonics. We've got periodic loading, which are combinations of harmonics. 